I am soaking wet. Hi, I'm Garrett. And I'm Nikki. We're fascinated by how other people live. So we're gonna try and find some really interesting living situations. And live there, seeing what it's like to have a totally different lifestyle. And see which ones bring us closer together. And push us further apart. This week, we're living, living in a houseboat. houseboat. Thought we were gonna be drifting a little bit closer. Yeah, you didn't paddle very I wasn't well. paddling very hard. Nikki, nice to meet you. My name is Lisa, and I have lived on the Coupe de Villa for almost nine years, and it's the best move I've ever made in my life. Welcome Thank to you. The Coupe de Villa. There's one of the cats. Cat. That's Wally. Oh, a cat. She's the friendly one. So this houseboat has two cats, and I'm allergic to cats. Cats on a boat, that's pretty funny. I've never been on a houseboat. I think I've seen houseboats before. Is it a house on water, or is it a boat that you can live on? Well, no, I guess I was on a cruise ship. Is that a houseboat? All these people that live on boats here, this is considered the lobby. Everybody stops by here. So if you're sitting oh, so out here enjoying boats, yourselves. Somebody else may stop yeah, by. Yeah, they all stop by. So my checklist for living in the houseboat is, can I survive the cats? Is there a kitchen that's big enough that I feel like I could live here? And is there a Garrett-sized shower? This is the living room. You can see there's lots of room in here. I yeah, mean, this is for, awesome. And a full-size kitchen. So my checklist for living in this houseboat is that one, Garrett and I have enough space to share. Two, that I have some of those private spaces where I can either close a door or be in a different room. Three, I like living in quiet places. I don't like living near busy roads or highways, and I don't know what that's gonna be like on a marina. A houseboat isn't really like living on a boat. It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. It has um, a washer dryer. I've got a full-size kitchen with full-size refrigerator, an electric stove, pretty much everything you could need. If you go here and go down to the right. Oh! Is there a downstairs? Yeah, this is the bedroom that people usually stay in down there. Oh, wow. There? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so it's pretty comfy. That's actually, it looks really cool in there. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. You're like right at eye level of the water. This is cool. Yeah, this is, this is like a little hideaway. Wow, boats! The challenges are probably storage. The biggest surprise is how little I could make do with it. I moved from a 5,000 square foot house and put everything into a U-Haul with my two cats and drove out here. So this is where I love to sit in the evening and yeah. the sun sets right over oh there. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. Look at your view. Well, dumb question. Yeah. Does it rock? This is, a, no. I mean, this is so wide and, and the bottom is flat. It doesn't rock much at all. This is awesome. Lisa, we're not just saying that because the camera's rolling. This is like... <laughs> yeah, this is... I knew you guys were going to like... I'm into it. Nikki and I are friends now. Like, we're definitely work friends. In the meantime, Nikki got married, which I'm very happy for her. He did not come to the wedding, even though he was all... So oh, nice to finally oh. meet you. Can I come to your wedding? <laughs> uh... He did get us a gift, which was very nice. He didn't have to do that. Here we go. I'm very excited about this. Home buddies, sweet home buddies. So Gary and I have lived together on two occasions now. This will be our third time living together. To like keep building this relationship, I think we need to figure out how to move past work friends into like friends friends. All right, I'm gonna go in here because I think this is the easiest. Which means I go down below. I hope there are no kitty cats. Are you allergic to cats? Yeah. Uh-oh. My goal for the houseboat is to see if we can make plans to hang out outside of work because I think that'll be the actual difference between work friends and real friends. Yes, this is so cozy. Nikki? What? Do you need any baskets? I have extras. You have baskets? What Extra kind of baskets? baskets? Get off of my bed. No. I fit perfect. Look at I also fit perfect. Look at you. <laughs> You're actually adorable. I'm an introvert. Garrett is not. My goal is to find some alone time. That's not to be antisocial. That's not because I don't like Garrett. For me to be a sane and caring human being, I need some time alone. Look at all this space. Cheers. Cheers. To our houseboat. Houseboat. Ugh. You actually drank alcohol. I've tasted mm. it before. I just, I'm not gonna drink but that. But doesn't it taste better on a boat? Sure. Today was day one in the houseboat. I expected the houseboat to be so much smaller than it is. It totally feels like we're living in a, like a normal apartment, but we're just on the water. We're a lot closer to the neighbors than I thought. Hello. How you doing? 
good doing evening. Well. How are you? The sound travels so much freer. Echo. Oh, there's a, what is that? Gary and I have our own rooms, which I think is really gonna help this experience. Like, I have my own space and I can close the door. Lisa was telling us about all these different kinds of activities. I think we're gonna go sailing tomorrow. That's gonna be unbelievable. I feel like for the first time, Garrett and I don't have to be thinking so hard about where we're living. And I think that will allow for our relationship to grow in a way that hasn't been able to in the past. My nose is getting congested because of these cats. Good night, Nikki. You look very cozy. I am. Okay, lights out, young lady. <laughs> okay. Good night. Well, good morning. It's actually a really beautiful morning. It's up there. Oh, look, another one. There are basically only two times when being six foot seven sucks. One is on airplanes. And two is anytime you have to shower. The boat actually has two showers, but they're used for storage. So we have to go use the showers in the marina. Oh, there's a shower. Kind of. A bunch, uh, a lot of people walking their dogs right there. Hey, Nikki, you want coffee? Okay, it's brewing. Thank you. Good morning. Happy Friday. What are you doing? Shaving, Nikki, it's a natural part of boys' body. By the way, the, the hair goes into the ocean. Same reason why what? I'm cutting my fingernails here. Are you serious? Yeah. Then you don't have to like worry about it like Ew. flying everywhere. This yeah. is really gross. Why is it that it's not that gross? A lot of people with dogs walking by and looking at me like I'm kind of a weirdo. But that's boat living. So Lisa's neighbors usually join her for breakfast in her lobby area, so a few of them are joining us for coffee this morning. And then her friend Chuck is going to take us out sailing. What are you making, doing, Garrett? Making you eggs before we go sailing. Yay! Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, I'll get us by this barge and then I'm going to turn this over to you, okay? steering is uh, one of the things I can teach you the fastest. Sailing was so amazing and Chuck let us steer for a little while. Blown away with how good Nikki was at sailing. Like she was doing these complicated steering maneuvers while he was tacking the sails back and forth. It was really amazing to behold, and we did it for like three hours. After sailing, Garrett and I went kayaking for a little while. Stroke! And after that whole day on the water, I was pretty ready to find some alone time. The thing about living in a houseboat is that everything's wet. The shorts are wet. The shorts I'm wearing now are wet. This shirt is wet. This shirt is wet. I found the perfect spot here on this houseboat. I'm on the top deck, hammock chair, great view. Nikki, I noticed, went upstairs to read alone. Gary came up to like join me, and it was one of those things where like when you're new friends and there's nothing to talk about and silence can be kind of awkward. It was totally fine, like I didn't feel awkward at all. I didn't feel like I needed to fill that space. Being near each other but not really interacting, just sort of knowing the other person was there and that if either of us needed anything, like we were there for each other. So I think that was like a really interesting step in our relationship. Nikki and I are about to go to dinner. We had a pretty incredible day. I I think if I said like, hey, would you want to hang out outside of work? She'd say yes. So at dinner tonight, I think I'm gonna try to achieve my goal.
So we just finished dinner, but the place was very, very loud. So there's never really a time for me to ask. So I didn't, even though I thought I was going to. And we're only in this houseboat for another like 12 hours. So hopefully tomorrow morning I will ask her. I don't know, we'll see. This time has like flown by because we've had so much fun and I really enjoyed being here. So it's kind of sad that we're leaving tomorrow. So this is the third time Nikki and I have lived together. And what happens so far every time is that sometime on the second night, she and I start talking about like really real shit. It's really wonderful. It was like the first time that Garrett and I were really alone. He was telling me about this job that he used to have. He asked about the weddings. And we just like, for a moment there, felt like old friends catching up. Wow. Of course, it's a gorgeous freaking morning. This thing's been making noise at me all morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Wally. I think at some point in my life, I actually could live here. Being on the water itself is actually really, really fun. I really enjoy it. Plus this part of the country is gorgeous. Look at this. Waking up to this every morning, that's unbelievable. Hey Nick, mm. would you wanna get brunch next week? Yeah. Like on Saturday? Yeah, okay. After living on this houseboat with Garrett, it is definitely a place that has brought us closer together. We had enough time to be in our own spaces, in our own rooms, but also we did so many fun activities together. We went sailing, we went kayaking, and we like had great space to just sit and enjoy coffee together. Now we're starting from like friends, so like becoming like a better and better friend actually takes like a lot of intimate work. And I'm excited to go to brunch. Or maybe when we're both 80, we'll be houseboat neighbors. Bye houseboat. Bye houseboat. It's brunch. We did it. We're getting quick brunch, but still counts. Happy Saturday, Nikki.